So let's check out Ubuntu 2310 Manic Manator. Yo, what's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And today I have another quick review of a Linux distribution. And this is the latest release of Ubuntu, which is 23.10, code name, Manic Manator. And this is a interim release of Ubuntu before they have a major release. Their next major release will be 24.04. And I mainly just wanted to explore some of the new features and improvements that Ubuntu 23.10 has to offer. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from my channel. Now let's jump right into it. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. The first thing I always do is go to the website. And of course I had a link down in the description of the video. We all know it's Ubuntu.com. And so as you can see on the main page, Ubuntu 23.10 is now available for download, but there's a problem with it at the moment. And they're probably working on this fix. I'm sure they're working on this fix, trying to figure it out, but I believe they have a, had a compromised ISO. And, and this was based on the information I saw on a, on a download page, but right here, Ubuntu 23.10 cannot be downloaded right now we apologize while we work on correcting this issue and so you can click on it and it'll show you the issue and that's only if you see this they just put this announcement up today and basically they're saying the release image is being updated to resolve a malicious translation incident and so check that out you know what i'm saying i know this is probably not what you want to see for a release of course this is not a major release so i wouldn't worry about it too much this is mainly just to test out the new improvements of what they're coming with with the full release next year so let's back up out of that and let me show you guys the release notes right fast i always like to show that i also had a link to this down in the description of the video just to make it easier for you guys so don't have to search for it but this is the release notes and it covers a couple different areas so introduction new features known issues official flavors and more information and one cool thing i wanted to point out before we move on to the install is that it includes with the 6.5 linux kernel you know with all these new features so that's awesome to see as well and we scroll down you know certain things that have been updated to the installer as well as the desktop environment super cool like one thing i wanted to point out was this TPM backup full encryption that they have that'll be released and it's it's currently experimental you know it's within this release and it's during the installer which you guys won't be able to see today because I wasn't able to get a copy of it so I'll have to use the legacy installer in order to get it installed but this is one of the new options that you have in there but there are limitations to it so it requires TPM 2.0 and it's only a limited set of hardware which is supported and no external kernel module support so that's one of the major limitations limitations like for for example no support for nvidia graphics cards so that's a problem if you wanted to test this out i don't recommend doing it on the main system probably use another system to run that on if you want to try it out and then also one of the things i always talk about which is networking the net plan and i mainly talk about net plan on servers because that's how i set up my static ip addresses but they did make some changes to that that network manager it now uses the net plan as its default setting storage backend and so if you upgrade, it will basically remove all your connection profiles over to the ETC net plan directory. And if you guys have watched my setting static IP address videos, I talk about those YAML files in there. That's it'll be transitioning everything over there, the profiles. And then also there's a new store, which we'll be able to see that as well as the new version of GNOME that's included in this release as well. So let's go down and hop over to my virtual machine so I can show you guys Ubuntu 23.10. All right, cool. So this is Ubuntu 23.10 Manador. And I don't know about you guys, but I really like the design of the logo they created for this release. It's got the little maze with the actual Manador right there or bull, whatever you want to call it. It's that mythical creature, but they got the little Ubuntu logo right here in the middle. That's super cool. And so I'll kind of breeze through the install because like I said, I had to use the legacy installer because of what happened with the actual ISO. And this legacy one comes with the legacy 
installer and so you won't see any differences i may throw in some b-roll from when i did the installer 23.04 it came with that new installer that was built using flutter and so this is that old installer so you won't see any new differences here but we'll just breeze through it right fast and if you have to install it this way that's fine as well you'll be able to at least see the operating system to where it is regardless of how it was installed so let's hit continue there erase the disk yeah we're gonna go with all the defaults for this select our location and then create our account right fast so we go down put in our password for it and i feel kind of bad not being able to show you guys the actual release but it'll look just like the b-roll that i pop up throughout this and so let's go down and continue and then go through the install and i'll just pop up some b-roll now all right so this is 23.10 as you can see it had a dope background that i want to install and so i changed up the accent colors you can kind of see with the purple to kind of match you know what i'm saying just to show you guys something different like how you can actually modify the desktop environment and the accent colors and all that good stuff with the system but as you can see this is a awesome looking distro like gnome has really stepped their game up you know what i'm saying with the desktop environment but let's check out the kernel right fast just uh i'm, I'm just enamored by the background <laughs> it's kind of throwing me off you know what i'm saying once i find that background i said man i gotta put that on you know what i'm saying but let's uh check out like i said the so let's just run a uname dash a press enter as you can see it comes with 6.5 now i haven't ran any updates yet you know on the system so it may have some updates on here and i always run things here i want to show you guys the new app store and this was developing flutter as well flutter has kind of like become the standard of ubuntu apps and so you'll see it a lot more on a lot of different things but let's check it out it's a redesigned app store and it's easy to navigate just like any of the others is centered around snaps but you can still get your debian packages installed so like let's say you want to search for something i'm just put firefox in here so it'll show both package types so you got your snap package and then down here it shows debian packages based on what you type up here in the search bar so let's see all the results now one thing it'll default to the snap packages so you can install a snap first or you can select here and it will show you the packages that are debian packages so like i said it's pushing those snaps snaps is just kind of like the future out here for you bunto and so you'll see that more in the forefront pretty much everything but yeah you got your typical menu so like featured apps and that's flutter right there that's the development application you can install to develop apps you know productivity development games you know a whole bunch of packages that they have in here that you know of course is in ubuntu's repository as well as the snap store so and one cool thing we can go down here to about let's check it out this is the 1.00 alpha so like i said this is a new thing they released with this release of ubuntu so i'm sure we'll see that in the 24 4.04 major release now just wanted to show you guys under manage this is how you can manage all your updates so you can just hit check for updates and then update all so ask for your pseudo password and you can go through and run all your updates on the system so super cool you know i really enjoy this and it also shows you installed updates down here so you get to go and i only ran it because it's just one update that's available so it shouldn't take too long and i'll just go down and minimize it but that is that ubuntu app store like i said it's, it's super cool now one of the things with gnome that i wanted to show you guys is some of the changes they made because i didn't do a, a full video just covering all the changes with with gnome 45 and one of the first things i wanted to show you guys with gnome is within the settings they added the enhanced tiling add-ons to this release by default so if you go under multitasking you'll see you have all your settings up in here you can make changes to the system these don't come on by default but you can turn them on but this is the hot corner so and it won't work on my virtual machine but typically you can go up here once you turn this on you're supposed to be able to go up here and i've used it on my main system that i've recorded on in the past but those hot corners work that's super cool it'll basically open up the activity overview and then you got your active screen edge so you could drag windows against the top left and right screen edge to resize them so i think i showed you guys this in the past but boom boom and then also you can go up to the top and then it's a new feature or whatever that they have in there now instead of of it going full screen you see how that changed in the background you see how it's shorter well if you hold it up there instead of it going full screen it'll go half 
the screen so you can another application down below so that's super cool to actually see as well and i just double clicked and that made it full screen but you could take it off grab it off and if you put it up here and drop release the mouse right away it'll make it full screen that's what i did right there so if you move it up to the top real quick let it go and that'll make it full screen but if you hold it up here it'll go half screen so i thought that was super cool i think i talked about this in the past on other videos but i thought that was a cool feature with this enhanced tiling that they set up now and then also let me open up another screen just to show you guys a little bit more so obviously you know you can add certain things like that you can select between both of your windows you have open and then also you know you can make it full screen you can move it up make that half and then you can grab whatever app you want drop it down at the bottom that's one thing i didn't show you guys with that so you can have two different apps and they're on top of each other and we could you know get out of it by dragging it away also we can keep this one down at the bottom but we could drag it away as well and so like i said this enhanced tiling is super cool super dynamic and all that good stuff now up here at the top left this is another thing i wanted to show you guys so you can scroll between your desktops up here so this is basically showing you your different desktops they removed that activities button that was up here before where you can go into like your apps and stuff this is the desktops so you can actually scroll up here and it'll go to your other desktop and right now I have it set to dynamic so it won't create another desktop until you actually need one or you add something to this desktop so if we add some here let's open up uh libre and you see that it comes with a third desktop now and you can click on it it's, it's super dope you know what i'm saying on navigating this all right so let me go back into the settings i just kind of wanted to show you guys a few more of the things this is the workspaces like i said you have a fixed number of workspaces or you can have it dynamic that's up to you guys and then workspaces on primary display only and so that basically just specifies that you only want it on that primary display and then app switching and you can include apps for all monitors include apps for all workspaces so it's up to you just change those settings how you want to set them and then if we go over here to the left and go down to about and if we click on system details it pulls up a little bit more information about your system so i thought this was super cool to see you know you see the hardware information software information pretty much any and everything that you would want to see about your system and then super cool they added a copy button so you can copy this information if you need it for another purpose and so let's go on and close that out but that i thought that was super cool all right so one more other thing i wanted to show you guys was the firmware updater app that they included in this release as well so now you won't be able to see much on here because i'm not running this on physical machine you won't see any devices because i don't have any devices added to the system but this is a new way of managing your firmware updates and it's super cool to see that they actually added this as a separate app because from what I remember, it was under the App Store previously. And so overall, I think this is a solid interim release of Ubuntu. And I think it's worth you guys actually checking out. And it's good to see this if you're, you know, waiting on that long term supported release, which I always do. I never really install these interim releases. I typically stick to those long term supported releases because you may run into bugs occasionally with these short term releases. And just so you guys know, this release only will receive support until july 2024 so a little time probably after they release uh 24.04 which is that long-term supported release but anyway that wraps up my overview on ubuntu 23.10 manic manator like i said i want you guys to actually check it out if you want to just run it in a virtual machine or play around with it on a system that you don't use like one of your backup systems if you have one but it's evident that this release packs a punch with its new features security improvements and performance enhancements and I hope you found this short review informative and exciting. And if you're a fan of Ubuntu, like I am, this release is definitely worth checking out. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and leave a comment down below with your thoughts on Ubuntu 23.10. And don't forget to subscribe for more exciting Linux content. Thank you guys for joining, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. And of course, keep it techy.